For today's Cranbert Collection Deep Dive, we're going to combine art and science. Uh, kind of. Waylon Gregory's monumental Fountain of the Atom, created for the 1939 New York World's Fair, was a playful symbol of one of the 20th century's most profound scientific developments. Illustrating the fair's general theme, building the world of tomorrow with the tools of today, the artist contrasted ancient and modern concepts of science on the two-tiered fountain. On the bottom tier, Gregory personified the atoms' electrons as eight exuberant boys and girls dancing with lightning bolts about the nucleus, a central shaft surmounted by a gas flame. Around this shaft, on the top tier were four colossal figures, fire, earth, air, and water, personifications of the elements as defined by the ancient Greeks. Water, one of the sculptures, is a part of the museum's Cranbert collection. It depicts a self-portrait of the artist as a young swimmer accompanied by smiling maroon fish diving out of a swirling waterfall. Gregory, whose brief tenure at Cranbrook was cut short by the onset of the Great Depression, gained recognition in the 1930s and 1940s as one of America's foremost ceramic sculptors. Ultimately, the Fountain of the Atom was disassembled after the World's Fair, with the elemental figures separated. In 2013, Cranbrook Art Museum teamed up with the University of Richmond Museums and independent ceramic scholar Dr. Thomas C. Folk to reunite the sculptures, including water, as a part of Wayland Gregory, Art Deco Ceramics, and the Atomic Impulse.